Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to clear crash data from an airbag unit from Volvo car. Airbag unit is made by Bosch. The part number of Bosch is 02850122741. Or the Volvo part number is P31423. 599 inside it have an EPROM a 95128 and should be an easy job for uh, CG100 and the EPROM adapter I tried with OBD star before I making this video for some reason OBD star was not able to clear the crash even if say the crash was clear when i read the dtc the crash output was still recorded in the dtc area so i decide to switch the device and try to make a clear of crash with another device as always one device cannot cover everything it was nice, the OBD star was doing directly to the CAN line, but unfortunately on this version was not working. So if it's not working, this is how it's looking inside. I don't have a clue where the EEPROM it is located yet. Uh, my pleasure, like always, it's under the capacitor. And of course, it's hidden, like always, I think it's under this capacitor. So now what I should do, I should lift up a little bit the capacitor. The capacitor is soldered and the connection is here. These are only the fixing points. If I bend, it doesn't help me. What I will try to do is to heat up a little bit the pins in order to remove the plastic i will add some flux maybe i can put some solder to have the temperature transfer better heat up a little bit now i will try to apply some force doesn't help i don't want to remove it I think it will be required to be removed. To not damage the board, better I damage this uh, support for the capacitor. But this one is not taking the heat very well. It's heat resistant. Try one more time. Okay, no chance. then the only solution left for me a fast solution is to cut it it will go gently with the cutting process okay one side it's loose Thank you. 
second side it's loose I will lift a little bit and now it's not here where the heck is the EEPROM As I was expecting to be here, but it's not here, it's a TGA, and that's the only EEPROM left. What I will do at the end, I will solder these pins back, and here I will apply some glue. Right now, I will lift the, I will cut the second capacitor. Okay, the second capacitor is out from one side. We'll go gently to the other side. Not much space. I don't want to touch the PCB at all. Okay, I manage. H128. So I'm not happy at all. I don't have the markings, but according to to my information, this is the this is the EEPROM. Okay, here I will add a plastic hot glue later but now let's remove the EEPROM this is the EEPROM I will make a mark for pin 1 add some flux hot air quite hard with this capacitor the problem is out want to clean fast the board where I will solder it back okay so we know it's a nine five one two eight uh, 
and let's switch to the computer. On the computer, we will open CG100. We will go to airbag, European car, we choose Volvo. We choose our part number of the unit. Here I had the diagram. If I look at first, uh, I would see where it was under the first capacitor, but I forgot to look here. Okay, it's not able to read the EEPROM. I will check the position in uh, in the adapter. Okay, let me check if I have a solder adapter. I will solder fast to an adapter board. Because seems that adapter doesn't want to be read. Normally, I'm a fan of soldering because always I know it's proper connection and it's read it very well. I will show you when I mount back where I soldered the EEPROM to get the best uh, result. So normally I will go back, start, and now it should be readed without any issue. So my clip was failing for some reason. Okay, I will save it here. The name is generated automatically. Okay. Whether to repair, yes. It's repairing automatically. It's writing the new content. After writing, it's checking again the chip. Repair success. Let's see. I will read again. Reading success. I will save new fixed and I will uh, make a short comparison. I had it here. So I will open Hexcam. Let's see. This was the original and this was the fixed one. So the crash has been cleared. Now we can solder back the memory. First time I wanted to read only with uh, this clip. It was failing. Then I got the external soldering adapter board and I soldered the E from here. So now I will remove it. I will unsolder from here and solder back to the airbag unit. I should still have some red marks on this side. This is the pin number one in that direction. And I will solder back the EEPROM. For you, it's quite hard to see it. But definitely, I will solder in the right position. I will need to adjust my recording setup for better angles, but that will be in future. Okay, one side is done.
second side done. I will clean it. This is the EEPROM soldered back. And what I will do now, I told you I will add some hot glue. to hold back the capacitor in this proper position. Here I don't have a pad, but I will make like this. Okay, my hot glue bar, it's finished. I solder them together. Still need to hold them a little bit until the hot glue is hard. What I will do, I will add some flux to the pin of the capacitor and solder them because this was not soldered, the capacitors. It was only pressing by force. This is taking a lot of heat. I'm switching the soldering station. Also here, going with alpha. As you can see also based on type of job, the flux, it's very, very important to have a proper adhesion. Change back to 400 degree. I used 420, and uh, I needed to change also the type of the flux. But everything now it's soldered. I know for sure the capacitor touching points have not been affected how I bend them. Are in position. Are soldered here and here. And now we can assemble the unit and uh, give back to, to my customer. If you like the video, please subscribe, like it, share it, comment. If you want and have a great day guys